How's it going, Barrett? This is Tim Pickens. I'm Barry's brother, and I am an inventor. In fact, I've invented a lot of stuff. And by the way, a lot of my stuff never worked. I'm sure Barry will tell you all about that. But a lot of it did work, and some of it became pretty, pretty famous. It's a pretty big deal. So I'm standing here at my laboratory where I like to sort of hang out, look at rockets. Let me show you something. This is a rocket right here. You can see, actually, let me go this way. Let's try this. Can you see that? That is a rocket motor. It's a cutaway. So this is where the combustion takes place. Of course, you have the nozzle and then the exit nozzle. But anyways, this is the kind of stuff I like to play with. I love fire, I love smoke, and I love gadgets. I love robots, and I love working on stuff. In fact, I decided a few years ago I wanted to have a rocket-powered pickup truck. Guess what? It happened. In fact, that truck was run by this. We had a driver and I was in there using an Xbox modified controller to make that truck light and go fast. I've got a rocket powered bicycle. This will do zero to 60 in about five seconds. So sometimes you have to go small when you're doing designs. Look here, rocket truck, SD's rocket motor. Look at there, it looks like I lost a wheel at high speed. But anyway, it's cool to build models to show what you really want to do. And you can see the rocket truck, all the various articles and stuff that uh, all my inventing and my enthusiasm led to some pretty cool stuff. In fact, my dad was a huge inventor and boy, he was really smart. So he inspired me, he taught me a lot. And I wish he was still here today to teach me even more. So as you can see here, these are just a few of my toys. These are rocket motors. This is a rocket motor. These are devices to make high voltage sparks. My dad designed these. Oh, and there's my jet powered scooter. Man, Barrett, this thing can go, man. You know, Barry, my brother, he actually rode this and Aaron. Oh, and here's a jet engine here that runs on propane. This one's ready to go on a bicycle and this is gonna be amazing once I get this done. Let's keep going down memory lane here. You know, my enthusiasm led me to being uh, the kid who wanted to learn all the time. So and when I became an adult, I started playing with rockets. And then I wanted to be the first amateur to ever hit space. So me and some friends built some rockets at home. We launched them underneath the balloon. We got in the Guinness Book of World Records. Man, that was a huge deal. We were the highest amateur rocket ever flown. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do if you really want to do it. And it doesn't always take a lot of money. <clears throat> Sometimes it just takes getting your friends enthousi enthusiastic about the idea and then you all can do your part and then you can come together and integrate everything and make it something really cool. But anyways, I worked as the chief propulsion rocket engine designer for Spaceship One. This was the world's first commercial spaceship to put people in space. This hangs in the Smithsonian Institute today. And I was responsible for developing the rocket engine, the technology, and leading some of this activity. So, as you can see, we've got a lot of press I'm starting a business. In fact, all my work with rockets led to Richard Branson, a real famous guy who owns uh, Virgin Galactic, Virgin Orbit, Virgin, uh, you know, see, Virgin Orbit, Virgin Galactic, Virgin Records, all those, a lot of different. A lot of different things. But anyways, I worked leading that engine I talked about, and he talks about it in his book. Now, as an inventor, 
If you definitely ought to check out the Make Magazine. This is a cool magazine. They deal with everything from robotics to rockets to whatever. And these are makers. In fact, they featured me here as a maker. And here we are with the rocket bikes. So things can happen if you want them to happen. And if you want it to happen, then you need to own it. And you need to... You need to do whatever it is you want to do and be really good at it. So that means that you've got a lot of work you need to do at home. You need to get out there and play in the garage, play in the lab, get your parents to support you, whatever you're doing. And if they see you're excited, they will help you, believe it or not. They'll probably even put some money into you because they know what you're going to become one day. Even if you don't know that, your parents know it. And that's something you need to be thinking about. So I wish you happy birthday. I hope things go well for you. And hey, keep the rockets flying high, man. To the moon. And there's an old saying in Latin called Ad Astra. You have to look it up. We'll see you. Bye.